Peace family, I just wanted to come and make this video about Dominican hair salons, y'all. I have been um, a customer of Dominican hair salons for 10 years now, okay? And I've been seeing the same beautician. Um, if I don't see her, then I'm not getting my hair done. Um, and in between that time, I had a natural hair beautician that I went to school with. And so I'll go to her to get like my twist ups and maybe sometimes let her clip my ends. And, you know, I tried getting some blowouts with her before as well. But this video is about Dominican hair salons okay so I just wanted to come here as a faithful customer of Dominican hair salons and say that the reason why some of you y'all hair you be leaving out the Dominican hair salon and you don't like your hair is because you don't know how to speak up it's because you go into this place and you allow them to do what it is they would do in the order they would do it with a person with the specific type of hair that they have because you have to understand something it is a dominican hair salon they are experts in dominican hair do you understand what i'm saying so just because the blowouts were twenty dollars and thirty dollars i remember they would used to be twenty dollars you feel me like it it doesn't it doesn't mean that you can go in there and they automatically know how to do your black hair no so you have to speak up about what it is you like and don't be offended or intimidated if you get if you feel like they feel a certain type of way because you're telling them what to do don't and, and that goes for every situation in your life if you're not comfortable enough to speak up um and tell someone what you like or what you don't like about something that, that they're doing then you need to get out of that relationship you don't need to be in the dominican hair salon you don't need to be trying to deal with whatever person making you feel like that you understand what i'm saying <laughs> so but back to the dominican hair salon so one of the main concerns that i hear a lot is that they use a lot of heat on your hair okay like i said i've been going to my beautician okay in at the dominican hair salon for the past 10 years okay and she listens to me like I used to sit under the dryer and all that stuff and my hair is thin so I don't really have to stay under the dryer long and even in those situations like when I used to sit under the dryer I put um check my own hair you understand what I'm saying and I kind of lift one up like I move it around because honey if you get stuck under that dryer you can get stuck under that dryer and that's in any bad salon a black salon uh, a Dominican salon a Mexican salon a, a white salon baby listen you liable, you, you liable to get stuck under that, uh, that dryer if you ain't careful, okay? Especially if you're a rookie. You understand me? So, you know, you got to be able to speak up. And, 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 um, and, and so I say that because now, like for the past two, three years, I haven't been sitting under no dryer. I tell her, I say, um, I'm, go I'm just going to do a wash and blow dry. Now she already know. Like yesterday when I went in there, I didn't even have to say anything. Like now she know like, okay, Zyvie don't want her want to sit under the dryer. She want me to wash and blow dry her hair. Now they may charge you a few extra dollars for that, right? Because our hair is coarser. Some of us don't have perms. Like my hair is natural. I haven't had a perm in 10 years. And so my hair is natural. And some of us are like that. And it's difficult. It's, 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 it's tame. It's, it's more curly or coily, right? So it's tangled right and it's harder for them to to do it so you gotta understand they're gonna throw a couple of extra dollars on it maybe i don't know i just pay my lady you know what i'm saying because we got a relationship and i talk to her you know what i mean i'm not afraid i don't just go up in their establishment and because i don't speak their language i just ain't saying nothing no that's not how you do that's not how you do it you sh you you are listen they're gonna treat you just like you show them honestly and everybody is not like my beautician. I have, she's, she's, I love her. <laughs> so everybody not like her though. And so when you go in there, right, um, you just have to know what you want. Um, if you don't want a lot of heat on your hair, you have to be ready to make sure that you are, you can afford that, right? You need to make sure that you got conditioner. You need to make sure that your hair is the type of hair that is, is easy to manipulate in those specific ways you trying to come in this dominican hair salon with your black hair to get done you understand what i'm saying so um the heat thing you know like when they they, they want to they want to, so when they when they put some heat when they blow drying your hair they're blowing it out so it, it's gonna be a little hot but again the only re you don't <sighs> because i'm trying i'm just trying to make sure that you got some understanding here okay because in order for them not to apply a lot of heat to your hair you're gonna have to tell them that you don't want a lot of heat in your hair stop 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 doing my dominican sisters like that like 
and, and 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 just because they're Dominican don't mean they don't have some of the problems and characteristics that we that we have, right? So sometimes they don't, they don't like you. Okay, sometimes you, you're just ignorant because you go up in that place and you know you don't speak that language and you know they don't really speak English too well and you catch an attitude. You understand what I'm saying? Or, you know, the, the mannerisms of Hispanic women are are more sassier than ours and so you get offended by because you think they got an attitude with you. Listen, you don't need to be going up in them people's establishment then with all that stuff that you got going on inside. You got to deal with that stuff first before you go up in that place, okay? So then don't be doing the Dominican hair salons like that. I just wanted to come here and, and tell you guys not to do that no more. So I didn't necessarily get my hair um um curled or flat iron yesterday. I just told her to wash and blow dry it for me. Um, I, I, I was going to get some braids this summer, but... It's something about the sun and my hair not being in this, you know, locked up in this way. Like the universe is calling for me to just have my hair to be free. And, to, and so that's what I'm going to be doing um, for the rest of the summer. I may pin it up and, you know, wrap it up in my turban and different stuff like that um, throughout the summer. Because, baby, when I sweat in the back of my head, my my Hold my head upright for somebody to try to come for me. So my hair pretty long, you know what I'm saying? And it's it touches my skin if in the summertime because I got on these clothes. And so it's it'll draw up, right? Because my hair, I don't I still have my natural curl pattern um with without my hair being um uh blow dried and flat iron. When I wet my hair, it curls up. Um so my hair is healthy and I want to keep it like that. So that's why I don't want all the heat on my hair, right? Um but like I said, for the remaining of the summer, what I'm going to do is just pin it up and rock my turban. Um, like right now, when I'm in the house and when I'm outside just chilling, not doing much, I'm going to let my hair out so the sun can get to it, so I can get these downloads from the universe, y'all. And just give my head, from the top of my head to the sole of my feet, to my toes, what it is it needs. And so, I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment below your experience in the Dominican hair salon and maybe I can help you.